On Friday, I talked about choices and want to do that a bit more in a slightly different direction this weekend. C.S. Lewis has said every time you make a choice, you are turning the central part of you, the part that chooses, into something a little different from what it was before. It's because it's being injected with God's wisdom when you make the right choice. It says in James 3, verse 17, the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Well, you live in a world that seeks to snare your attention and lead you away from the spiritual things of life. Each time you're tempted to distance yourself from the spiritual, you create a spiritual crisis. A few of those crises may be monumental in scope. I've been there, but most will involve the small, the everyday decisions of life. In fact, life can be seen as one test after another, and with each crisis comes yet another opportunity to grow closer to God. This is not punishment at all of a creator, but rather a classroom that we are in in this experience called life. If you choose to adhere to God's plan for your life, you will pass every course in a big way. Today, you will face opportunities to say yes to God, and you'll encounter many opportunities to also say no. How you respond will determine not just the quality of your day, but the whole direction of your life. Walk the wise path of following God, and you'll have a life full of mercy and all the good things that God's wisdom brings, including success and including prosperity. I pray for you to have both and all the other countless unnamed things of God that are almost more than we can comprehend in the moment of prayer. God bless you.